it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new visitor here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you happen to have a doll channel of your own, um, let me know and I will be so happy to get subscribed to you as well. And if you like this video, Ella here would like it if you would please give it the thumbs up. There's her little thumb. <laughs> you probably can't see it. But anyway, you guys, it is Saturday and I am doing Silicone Saturday. So Silicone Saturday is hosted by Mel over at Mel Amore's Nursery. And so I have got the newest baby in my nursery. This is itty bitty, little bitty Ella Bean. <laughs> she is the Danielle Sculpt by Maria Lynn Grover. And we're going to be getting her changed today. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> Look at her. I've got her in this little Christmas style onesie. Oh, let me guys, let me show you guys her sister. Her sister is in the matching sleeper. Just hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me show you her sister who's in the matching sleeper. Here is her sister. And she's in the matching sleeper. Isn't she cute? <laughs> she says, Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> But no kisses for Walter. He's bad. Mwah, mwah. Kisses for everybody but Walter. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> All right, back down you go. But I am going to get her into an outfit that you guys have been requesting. Y'all have been asking for me to put her into this one outfit. So... We're going to do it. <laughs> um, but while we are getting her out of this outfit, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your lovely, just beautiful, caring, compassionate comments that you left on my last video. Um, that was the video where I talked about why I've been having a hard time lately this month, specifically in October. I'm not going to go into all of that again, because there's a whole video dedicated to it, and I don't really want to go into it again. But if you are curious about what I'm talking about, then... Just go over there to my last video and watch that. But what I'm talking about today is the overwhelming amount of comments that I got where so many of you not only expressed to me um, your love and caring and compassion for me and how I was feeling, but so many of you talked about your own experiences that you are having with grief. Um, some of you talked about losing parents, losing siblings, losing friends, and some of you talked about losing a child, and some of you talked about what I was going through, which was grieving for my, my dog. Um, which, as I'm sitting here talking about those of you who have lost people, those of you who have lost children, um, it kind of humbles me that even though I was speaking of losing a pet, you guys still were so loving and kind and compassionate. Even those of you who have suffered absolutely traumatic losses. And I just want to say... Um, 
I was overwhelmed with the comments. I hearted every one of them. But I just want to say um, that I love you guys so much that you guys, in my prayers, that if you have been through loss of your own, I am thinking of you. I am praying for you. Um, hopefully you don't mind that. And I just want to say how grateful I am and humbled that I am that all of you were so vulnerable and and um, loving enough to share your own stories. And I saw that some of you were commenting on the stories of other people. And I just think that that's a beautiful thing that that we are all here for each other. And this is, um, this is such a beautiful hobby, but part of what makes it so beautiful is all of these amazing, wonderful sisters, um, and brothers that we have out there. Um, and so I just want to say how much I love and appreciate you guys. And so, um... It's an insignificant little thank you, but y'all were talking about how you wanted to see her in this bunny dress. So we're putting her in the bunny dress because you guys want it. <laughs> I've got my ring light set up, but unfortunately my plug-in that's over by where I film actually doesn't work. It's really frustrating. Um, so I've got it plugged up like across the room, probably about six or seven feet from where I'm filming, but it, it, it is kind of making a difference light-wise. So let's get this over her little head. Get this over her little head, little Ella Bean. But you guys wanted to see her in this dress, and we are putting her in it. Okay. Oh, your little arms, they're just so tiny. Just so little. Let's get this up around your elbow. I think that'd be better, don't you? I think that'd be better. <laughs> She's just kind of losing herself in the, <laughs> the fabric. <laughs> because she's just so tiny. Hers just so little. Yes, she is. Mama's baby is just so little. Mama's baby is just so little. <laughs> Her little fingers. It's kind of stressing them out a little bit. There we go. There's her elbow. There's her elbow. Okay. Let's roll over. Let's roll over. There we go. Let's pull down your dress. This is Velcro, so it's real easy. Look at her. Look at the back of her head. Hold on. Just get this. Look at the back. The sweet little back of her head, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that precious? Look at that. There you go. Oh my goodness. Wow, they were right, Ella. You are adorable. Little beans. You're so cute. Okay, let's put hers down. <laughs> Look at how sweet she is in this. <laughs> She's so sweet in this. Let's put little socks on her. I've got little white socks with little lace trim. Let's put that on her. I probably shouldn't have shot this in selfie view, but I'm doing a little bit of a different angle. She's so tiny that I wanted to get the camera in really good and close, and I also wanted to get some light from this ring light over here, so I'm I'm actually doing this standing up, which isn't the most comfortable thing, but, but I think you're getting a really nice close look at your little niecey niece here, your little niecey poo. Oh my gosh, look how precious she is. And then I've got a cute little peach hair bow that Cher sent that goes really, really well with this dress. So let's just get that. Oh my gosh. Look at her knees. Look at 
like her. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Let's get her clip back on. I got her some new passies. Actually, I'm going to pause the video and go get her new passy. Hold on. Okay, guys, we are back. So I already cut the top of it off. Um, so I could get into them, but these are Dr. Brown's little pacifiers, and I found them at TJ Maxx. They were six dollars, and there's four of them. And what's nice is two of them are actually glow in the dark, um, but they're really, really tiny. They're very, very tiny, and I think they might fit in her mouth a little bit better than the other one um, does. But this one has like a constellation on it. And then we've got another one. These will, of course, be for her and, um, and Rowena. Her and Little Stink. And this one's got little stars on it. And then we've got two more. I feel like I'm getting sick. Oh, wait. I was just kind of crying just a tiny bit, so that might be why. Um, this one has a unicorn. You probably can't see it, but there's a unicorn in a constellation on this one. She's just surrounded by passies. And then this one is kind of like a galaxy. So I think we're going to use this little galaxy one today. We're going to attach this to her clip. We're going to take this other one off. And I don't normally store her. I don't put her away with the passy clip on her. With the passy clip, I'm sorry. With the passy in her mouth. Um, just because I'm a little worried about maybe it causing some paint loss or whatnot. Um... <clears throat> but it's cute for like photos but I don't usually leave it in her mouth unless I'm just kind of like playing with her sometimes if I'm playing with her I will leave it in her mouth just trying to get the clip on I think I got it yep there we go we got it this is cute it matches the colors in her little dress. Here we go. Let me go get a little bit of... I know some people use powder, but I always use a little bit of lubricant to put it in her mouth. Put passies in my silicone's mouth. Let's see. I think this will fit pretty well in her mouth. There we go. Why don't you just squeeze and slide in? Stop moving a little bit. That one doesn't quite go all the way in her mouth, but that's okay. It's still pretty darn cute, isn't it? <laughs> I think the other pacifier, maybe the nipple was shorter. They look about exactly the same. That's strange. They look exactly the same. I don't know. There we go. That sits a little bit better. Yeah, there she is. There's your new... Isn't she sweet? I love her little hand. Her little open hand. I love everything about her. She is just the sweetest little baby in the world. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I will talk to you guys later. So until then, take care. Take care of each other. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.